The Earth was born 4.6 billion years ago, when the Big Bang created the universe. It was hit by many meteorites, big and small, and covered with extremely hot magma. Then it rained for tens of thousands of years to create oceans on the Earth, the birth of the planet of water. Great tectonic shifts took place one after another. As a result, the Himalayas and Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world, came into existence. Then, five million years ago, in Africa, our ancestors began walking upright on two feet. The natural state of men living side by side is the state of war. This is a characteristic of men which could be used positively to create dialectical spiral currents of conflicts, integration and development. This can be done on the stage of empathy, derived from the rich history of both parties. The Human Nature and Science Institute Foundation HNS realized some 20 years ago that drastic changes in the world trends and historical problems would have fundamental influences on national politics, economy and education. Since then we have been steadily working to pave the road to the birth of a new age from the land of Japan. This will be a project urgently needed for the renewed prosperity of mankind. There is a venture business in a small city in Japan whose population is 200,000. Komatsu Electric Industry Company, Limited, finds various social problems as its business resources and tries to develop new markets. Akio Komatsu, the founder and president of the company, invented the industrial sheet shutter called Momban, Gatekeeper, and the general water controlling system named Yakumo Suishin. Yakumo Water God, using a cloud computing system. These innovative products have been made into name brand items. The aim of the Yakumo Suishi Network is to help start an all Japan international project related to water, one of the most important issues in the 21st century. Yakumo Suishi was introduced in the forum titled How to Make a Breakthrough for a Change. The foundation has two purposes. One is to promote the systems of Monban and Yakumo Suishi, both nationally and internationally. The other is to help build a platform for world peace through its research activities and various projects. President Komatsu has already announced that he is willing to donate some of the profits gained through the business operations for various peace projects. What is the priority project of the HNS now? It is peace, business and culture. This answer often surprises people. War business has been a dominant factor to stimulate economy throughout man's history. Big demand is created by war industries as a result of huge consumption caused by a war. War industry is also accompanied by the rapid development of scientific technology. But this is the age of nuclear power and smartphones. We cannot possibly afford another nuclear war or keep information inaccessible to the masses. The Japanese understand best that we could never fight a nuclear war anymore. We have suffered twice from nuclear disasters. Atomic bombs dropped onto Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the recent Fukushima nuclear power plant accident. We have come to realize that we have built too many nuclear power plants on our land of earthquakes. Our city of Matsue is no exception. As a matter of fact, nuclear power plants have proliferated all over the world. It is our strong hope to create a new culture from Izumo and introduce it to Asia and the world.
in order to save the future for the descendants of the human race. In other words, this is the best chance for us to create peace business and culture for Japan, Asia and the world. Man was born on this water planet and has developed civilization through the use of fire, the invention of language and the division of labor. Fire came to be used in gunpowder, dynamite and the ultimate nuclear energy. Language innovation has brought about letters, Gutenberg's printing press, cloud computing, tablet terminal and SNS. The division of labor has developed to the degree that every nation is now interdependent with each other and must contribute to the world through its specialty. The closest country to Japan is the ROK. The DPRK, with very difficult problems, is located next to the ROK. You couldn't ask it to move away to the other end of the Pacific. They are destined to be three neighboring countries. Besides, it is in this area that the three big nuclear powers, China, Russia and the US, are contending with one another. Chinese economic power is now very strong, and Russia and America have their great presence in the East Asia. The ROK, the DPRK and Japan have their own conflicts among them. Within Japan also, you can notice the presence of conflicts among DPRK Koreans, ROK Koreans and Japanese. If we are to realize our own responsibility and ability to make a peaceful future for ourselves, for our nations, for the world, including the nuclear superpowers, I believe we could do so because then we should be different persons who could make a renewed history of man. We can safely say that this is a great opportunity that God has prepared for us. We are now standing at the end of history of wars and at the gateway to a peaceful and harmonious future. HNS is located in Shimane Prefecture, which is across the sea from the Korean Peninsula the only area in the world where the Cold War structure still remains and has designated February 22nd as Takeshima Island Day. There have been suppressed conflicts between Japan and the Korean Peninsula, such as abduction problems, the Takeshima Dokdo territorial issues, problems of comfort women and reparations, and other problems. There is not much prospect of finding a solution to any of them. Akio Komatsu is afraid that such problems might trigger another war among countries, including the nuclear superpowers. The comfort women problem has become a big issue now. It is discussed even at UN meetings. I believe that this is a key to solving most of our problems in the current era. What those women lost was their pride and dignity. However, trying to restore their lost pride and dignity will lead us nowhere. Rather, we should help them gain the supreme kind of dignity and pride through our efforts to bring about a peace and harmony never dreamed of before in our lands. This I call true kindness. Japan should take 100% responsibility for its pre-war and wartime actions, including the comfort women problem. Both Koreans and Japanese ought to share responsibilities for the continuous hostile demonstrations after the war. What do you think is needed to make your peace business come true? Well, I think that operating a peace business methodically is important. Japanese like to use the word wa, which means peace and harmony. Taking the middle course is important for bringing about wa. There is another important word, wajo, which originated in Izumo. You can't find this word in a dictionary. Wajo means making peace by the process of giving and taking. Let me explain to you how wa functions. First, you create a stage of empathy on which you can make the best use of confrontations. 
As Immanuel Kant says, the natural state of men is the state of war. Confrontations should not be negated. The information we obtain from various sources can motivate us to promote either peace or war. The energy which stems from such confrontations can be used positively and peacefully by us only if we are wise and courageous enough to make the right choice for ourselves and our children. When facing a possible war of annihilation, for example, surely a face-saving solution should be introduced on the common platform of empathy to both parties concerned. Governments, peoples and politicians. Then on the same platform conflict should be integrated to make a new kind of development. This platform is most needed now in the area of the Korean Peninsula and the Japanese archipelago for the sake of the people of the world. Akio Komatsu has visited many peace and war museums all over the world. He offered flowers and tried to learn from those museums with his hope to prepare a stage where real communication can take place. In our history, Japan brought about much harm to your country and many others and we face each other today after many twists and turns. I now truly understand that Japan caused great harm to the people of China. What kind of role should Japan play in Asia and the world? Man has a desire for dignity. It is a desire to be accepted and approved by others. The Japanese should have a clear and specific goal to be widely accepted and approved by the people of the world. Otherwise, we will be a people of introversion and short-sightedness.
You seem to take the war responsibilities very seriously. What made you do so? They say failure teaches success. Another saying goes, to turn a misfortune into a blessing. A war brings about great misfortune to both countries involved. Especially the people in the invaded country suffer a greater misfortune beyond their imagination. In order to change this misfortune into a blessing, a tremendous amount of courage, wisdom and insight is needed. When World War II ended, I was only two years old, so I do not have any direct pre-war or wartime responsibilities. I do, however, have post-war responsibilities. My responsibility, for instance, is to study the backgrounds of those times to understand what really caused the war, why the colonization of other countries took place, and to analyze all these processes. There are issues on which we all can and cannot agree with each other. The Takeshima Dokdo issue is an example of an issue on which we cannot easily come to an agreement. This is a conflict. It is, I believe, our duty and responsibility for future generations to make the best use of the conflict and integrate the conflicting elements to create a renewed hope for the future. Besides, a large number of people were killed in the war. Therefore, we as human beings have responsibilities not only for the future generations, but also for the war victims in the past. I understand that you've worked very hard in preparation for your peace project. When will the WA culture start to prevail? The time is now. WA culture is to be born now. When the North Sea Route was opened recently, another great sea route was born. From the Spratly Islands to Taiwan, the Senkaku Islands, Okinawa, Takeshima Datko, the Northern Territories and beyond. A new Silk Road in the 21st century. HNS proposes to change the conflicting territorial issues into a guidepost for a gateway to perpetual world peace and set a non-nuclear zone over the Korean Peninsula and the Japanese archipelago, the first model of a permanent world peace. We also suggest changing the name of the Sea of Japan, which is surrounded by nuclear power stations, to the Chukai, the Middle Sea. In 2008 and 2009 in Beijing, HNS announced a plan called the People's United Nations. It is an international think tank whose aim is to provide ideas about how to build sustainable nations through free and logical discussions based on facts and history. An old saying tells us that the bud of a decline arises in the height of prosperity and the bud of prosperity in the height of a decline. Now is the height of a decline. If we do not try to cope with this situation now, human beings will become just like demons. Then it will be too late. Once men have fallen that far, the age of confusion will last as long as 100 or even 200 years. It will be an age of hell for all men. Now is the time to avoid that tragedy because we still have our energy left and can use our energy to cope with our difficult problems together. In other words, we can use that energy produced from our conflicting situations for the integration and development and not for the annihilation of us all. That's why we should act here and now. In our efforts to start a peace culture, HNS has presented a plan to build the International Peace Center, which consists of four specific projects. To erect the Memorial Tower, which will record all the names of the victims killed in modern wars. People throughout the world will have an easy access to the museum using IT. To build the World Peace and War Memorial Center, which will connect all the War and Peace museums all over the world on the Internet. To sponsor the Olympics of Creative WA, Peace and Harmony, Culture. To create the WA, 
Peace and Harmony Palace to commend contributors to peace. The location for these projects will be in Okinawa, which was one of the most tragic battlefields during the Pacific War. It was used as a U.S. military base during the Korean and the Vietnam Wars. Even after the restoration, it has been used as one of the most important military bases for the West. When we meet, we become brothers and sisters. They say so on this peaceful island. The aim of the project is to restore the spirit of peace over Okinawa, which was once an island of victims and murderers. Okinawa will be a symbol of perpetual peace in the world. Do you think all the conditions are ripe for your project? Yes, they are. The most important thing of all is the fact that the economy has become unstable. Unstable economy reduces men to demons. We cannot afford any more lingering or hesitation. At the same time, we now have smartphones, tablet terminals, cloud computing systems, and are surrounded by nuclear power plants. Besides, we have problems caused by the nuclear power plant disaster in Japan. As a matter of fact, there are many, many nuclear power plants all over the world, too. With all these conditions combined, we realize it is time to start the peace project. We have the timing of the heavens, the reasons of the earth, and peace among people. Women and children play the most important role in opening the gate for the future. When they rise up, they have the power to change the world. Women and children together, with men of developed and developing countries, which are now free of hunger and killing, have the historical duty and responsibility to take part in building a peaceful world. At the same time, they will surely feel a great satisfaction in joining hands to build a peaceful world. Technological innovations help make peace in accordance with the threefold union of the heavens, the earth, and man. The age of peace business has come. We have been trying to build a road to world peace for 20 years through various international exchange activities. The time has come to work actively to bring forth WA, peace and harmony culture, out of broad and wise discussions beyond national borders. Cloud computing systems and smartphones are the best tools available for us when we strive to create a peace business. Dreams, romanticism, renewed hope, and a sense of mission will spring up in this new age we will create.